Newton's three laws of motion can easily be understood by using rockets and space to explain them. In the year 1686, Sir Isaac Newton presented his three laws of motion after 20 years of developing them. His first law, also called the law of inertia, states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. In other words, an object will keep its current state of motion, either moving or at rest, until a force pushes or pulls on it. If you roll a ball on the ground, it will roll but eventually stop due to friction and gravity. If a rocket or satellite is in space, it will continue moving in a straight line forever until a force, such as gravity, slows it down or changes its direction. Newton's second law states that force is equal to the change in motion for change in time. For constant mass, force equals mass times acceleration. To put it simply, the bigger the mass or the more acceleration an object has, the more force it has. A bow and arrow is a good way to demonstrate this. If two arrows are traveling through the air at the same speed and one has more mass than the other, then that arrow has more force. Or if they are the same mass, the one that is traveling faster will have more force. Finally, his third law says for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. The perfect example of this is a rocket blasting off. When the force of the explosion from the rocket engines is pointed down, the rocket has an opposite reaction that is equal to the, that downward force. In other words, the rocket has to go up. 